Hey guys, in this video I'm bringing you the fate of Arya Stark in the final season of Game of Thrones, supportive leaks and a few theories and predictions of mine. Arya will reunite with Jon Snow in episode 1. She will later in episode 3 fight alongside Jon in epic battle for Winterfell against the Night King and his army. Arya will at some point be at King's Landing, and she will have a few encounters that might not end well for some. Arya will also, by my theory, vet Gindry. With all of that being said, let's just jump into it, starting with a long anticipated reunion between Arya and Jon. As it has been teased, Jon Snow with Danny will arrive at Winterfell in episode 1, season 8. In fact, their arrival is going to be an opening scene of the final season. There, Jon will reunite with his friends and family, most importantly with Arya. Arya and Jon have not seen each other since season 1, when they had a pretty close sibling relationship, and they just missed each other in season 7, which frustrated many fans. Still, seeing Jon with at least one of his sisters is promising, and if he's reuniting with Sansa, he will also be seeing and reuniting with Arya as well. While it's easy to say that Jon will be proud, but also blown away by how much Arya has grown as a fighter, it's also safe to say that Arya, unlike Sansa, will support Jon's decision of bending the knee to the Dragon Queen. In fact, I think that Danny and Arya will get along very well, considering how both of them admire and respect strong and powerful women. Also, since Arya is passionate about Targaryen history, and Dagon's dragon riding sister wives, as seen in Season 2, with Xenia Targaryen being her heroine, we can imagine she is predisposed to like and be fascinated by Danny and the dragons in Season 8. Anyways, besides reuniting with Jon Snow, I also expect Arya to reunite with Nymeria as well at some point of the final season, most likely in episode 3. The two had a brief reunion in the previous season, when Arya was on her way to Winterfell. As Arya approached Nymeria, now the leader of the pack of wolves, the dire wolf she raised, she told her she's going home and asked her to come with her, but Nymeria refused and left along with her pack. Arya realized this Nymeria is no longer the same, and has also changed since the last time they saw each other. Nymeria has a new life now and is no longer attached to her anymore. However, this cannot and most certainly is not the last time we're going to see of Nymeria. It's already been confirmed that we'll see more of the direwolves in the final season, meaning not only of Ghost, but both of Ghost and Nymeria. They are the only direwolves whose stories are not over yet, and they'll definitely have a role to play in the final six episodes. Nymeria might appear with her pack of wolves in episode 3 during the battle for Winterfell, and come to the Starks and Ghost's aid, or maybe to Arya's rescue. Perhaps the best possible way for the showrunners to get Nymeria back into play would be with Nymeria reuniting with Arya by saving her life. This prediction of mine is simply a result of considering that Jon's direwolf ghost mostly appeared in crucial moments such as saving the Lord Commander's life by whining at the door and warning Jon that there's something going on, saving Sam's life from a white and giving a chance to Jor Momon to destroy the white with fire, helping to kill wildlings during the Battle of Castle Black, protecting Sam and Gilly from two former criminals in the Night's Watch that attempted to hurt Gilly and also defending Jon's corpse. With all this being said, I think that Arya's direwolf reappearance will be nothing less but glorious. Nymeria will appear and save Arya, as she did save her from Joffrey, but this time she will save her from the White Walkers. Saving Arya from Joffrey costed Nymeria to be forced to leave and be separated from Arya, but this time it might cost Nymeria's life. Next, Arya will also most likely have an encounter with Melisandre, fulfilling Melisandre's prophecy that she told to her, I see a darkness in you, and in the darkness I is staring back at me. Brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, eyes that you'll shut forever, we'll meet again. Arya did shut all of these eyes. The only remaining thing of that prophecy to come true is Melisandre meeting Arya again. In my opinion, this Melisandre's prophecy will definitely come true. The question is, how is the meeting going to end? Melisandre is currently in Volantis, but as she said it herself, she will return one last time because she has to die in Westeros. We know Arya, and we know that she is dedicated to decreasing the names on her kill list, and we also know that Melisandre is on that list because she tried to kill Gendry. If Arya is not destined to put an end to Melisandre, then I can see their reunion taking place in the first episodes of Season 8, with Arya either killing Melisandre after which Lord of Light would bring her back to life, since she has many things yet to do as she said herself to Jon, or Melisandre could somehow manage to convince Arya that she saved Jon's life, which would bring her Arya's absolution. Next, and by far one of the best Arya Stark predictions you'll have a chance to hear includes Cersei's death, the game bowl and the reappearance of Jockey Hagar. Season 7 finale provided us many reunions, but none of them was as interesting as a reunion that occurred between Click Game Brothers. A long anticipated duel between the Mountain and the Hound, often referred to by fans as Click Game Bowl, has seemingly been set for the final season. In this theory, Click Game Bowl would take place a few moments after the death of Cersei Lannister. Upon realizing that they invested in the wrong ruler, as Cersei might cause the fall of Westeros since she is not supporting the living side, the Iron Bank would hire the Faceless Man to put an end to Cersei's madness. This is when Jaqim would sneak into Minerfell disguised as Northerner and would reunite with Arya. Jaqim would then say to Arya that the many faced god requires another death. Arya, shocked and surprised, would most likely say that she is not no one, but rather Arya Stark of Minerfell, 
pointing out that she is not assassin and does not plan to obey any order nor to kill anyone for the many-faced god. Giacomo then revealed the name of a person whose death is required, the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, Cersei Lannister who betrayed the living side and is conquering the Seven Kingdoms while the Great War rages. Are you already wanted to head to the capital and execute Cersei Lannister in the very beginning of Season 7, which means that she will most likely accept this offer in order to not only cross off possibly the biggest name on her list, but also to kill the only person who betrayed the living side. The Hound, who will in the very first episode of the final season arrive at Winterfell with everyone else, will decide to help Arya, since with the mountain on her way, Arya will not be able to either kill Cersei or on the other hand survive upon killing Cersei. Once they sneak into the Red Keep, the two would go straight into Cersei's chambers. Arya wearing Kyburn's face would likely kill Cersei, and just when the mountain would draw his sword to kill Arya, foreshadow the game ball would take place. The Hound would fulfill his promise that he gave to the mountain in the season 7 finale. It's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you, you've always known. There's one leak in particular that goes in favor to this theory which says that Arya will in episode 5 be in King's Landing and she will survive the burning of it. Arya Stark, Killist, King's Landing, Cersei. Nothing can be said for sure, but there are definitely some closer hints. Ok, next is my theory of Arya Stark's story ending up with her marriage to Gindry and living out her days peacefully in Storm's End. Gindry, the talented blacksmith and bastard of King Robert Baratheon finally reappeared in the show, and many fans have viewed Gindry being back on the scene as a sign that his father's promise to Ned Stark in Season 1 might finally be fulfilled. Remember back in the very first episode in the Rinnerfell Crypts, Robert Baratheon expressed his desire that his son should marry Ned's daughter to align their houses forever. Robert was talking about Joffrey, who he thought was his son, and Ned's daughter Sansa. This never happened and therefore House Stark and House Baratheon have not been joined yet. However, a huge amount of fans are thinking that this marriage might finally happen in the form of Robert's only son Gindry and Ned's daughter Arya. Arya and Gindry formed a special bond, way back when they were traveling together north on the King's Road. There's one memorable scene that Arya and Gindry shared that might have foreshadowed that those two could become family one day. When Gindry told Arya that he's never had a family, someone to take care of him, Arya said, I could be your family. Gindry back then believed that him and Arya could never be together, considering that she is a high-born daughter of Lord Eddard Stark, while he on the other hand is just a bastard son. Gindry later found out who his father truly is, King Robert Baratheon. Having in mind that Arya is in Winterfell, while Gindry on the other hand is heading towards it with Jon Snow and Danny Targaryen, those two will most certainly reunite in the very first episode of the final season. While many fans believe Arya and Gindry will end up together, many fans are convinced that Arya would never settle down and have children, and I understand them. After all, that's what Arya said herself regarding her future. However, what we also need to understand is that Game of Thrones is full of irony. Arya never wanted to be a lady, while his sister Sansa always dreamed of marrying a handsome young man, giving him children and living a happy life. Wouldn't it be kinda ironic seeing Arya, a girl who never wanted any of that, getting what Sansa always wanted? We all expect Arya to either die in a battle or to live out her days as an assassin adventurer, and that's why probably neither of this will happen. It'll be too predictable. Her getting a happy ending and living her life as the proper lady she never wanted to be will be a huge twist for her character. Arya is a highly trained assassin with a thirst for vengeance. However, at this point Arya already avenged her family and when the war is over and the White Walkers are dealt with, I think that Arya will get the life that Sansa used to dream of, and ironically Arya will enjoy the life. So Arya will most likely end up marrying Gendry and live other days raising their children in a castle. I have a son, you have a daughter, we'll join our houses, is the quote that's always been on my mind. Obviously back then Robert was implying that Sansa and Joffrey should wed, but we all know how it all worked out for them. However, this, in my opinion, foreshadows Gingy and Arya joining Baratheon and Stark houses once and for all. Some fans even claim that George R. R. Martin and showrunners thought of Arya and Gingy while writing this particular scene, considering how they tend to twist words around. Arya does have feelings for Gingy, which was made clear when she told him that he can be her family. Also, there could be some clue regarding this marriage in the first meeting between Gingy and John. It's quite obvious how interaction between Gendry and John is similar to one Robert and Ned had in Season 1. Even Davos reminds me of Lord Arryn, taking Gendry and John under his caring wing, just like Lord Arryn did Robert and Ned. Also Robert was in love with Ned's sister Lyanna, just like Gendry is with John's sister Arya, so I'm sure you can see the parallel. Now that Arya has finally returned to Winterfell and Gendry on the other hand has not only returned to the series but is also heading to Winterfell, it just seems they are meant to end up together. I can definitely see them living their days out peacefully in Storm's End with their children. I'm sure most of you are wondering how could they live in a castle that belongs to House Baratheon considering that Gendry is a bastard son and therefore he's not allowed to inherit his father's lands or titles. Well, there are two possibilities. One is that Gendry is trueborn son of Robert Baratheon as there's a theory in which his mother is actually Cersei Lannister. And the second possibility is him simply getting legitimized by Jon or Danny. 
Genji is a bastard son of the late King Robert Baratheon, and with no living Baratheons left in the series, he will most likely get legitimized by Dany if he agrees to bend the knee and swear his loyalty to her, which Genji will most likely do. I understand that there are some of you thinking that Dany legitimizing Genji would make no sense. Some of you think that she, by doing that, she would be creating a potential rival for the Iron Throne, and even if Genji personally is not a threat, some of you think he could either marry an ambitious woman or have an ambitious child. Well, Dany's statements say otherwise. Danny as well as John stated multiple times throughout season 7 that a child should not be guilty for their father's sins and doings. If Danny allowed Tyrion to become her most trusted advisor, whose father did more crimes to House Targaryen than Robert did, I don't see why Danny would not legitimize Gendry if he would bend the knee and swear his loyalty to her. Anyways, becoming Lord Baratheon, Gendry would inherit Storm's End and Arya will most likely be his lady. Whilst Ned was killed in season 1, which set off the events for the series, I cannot help but think that Ned did foreshadow this marriage when he told Arya that she will marry a High Lord and rule his castle. Just as Robert wanted, back in the first season, the House Baratheon and Stark will probably join through his son and Ned's daughter, just not through the ones he and Ned thought. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.